What's up everyone, Willie Apple here, and today Apple has released the first beta of macOS Ventura 13.1. In this video, I'll be showing you what is new inside the software. We're going to take a look at our build number right here instead of settings, general, and then about. We can see that our build number is 22C5033E. So we have an E at the end of the build number, which indicates that we could have about a month of betas before we get the final release. Now what is new here inside of macOS Ventura 13.1? Well, there are actually a couple of things, and the one that most of you are probably wanting the most is the app called Freeform. So this is Freeform. It's basically an infinite whiteboard where you could just zoom out and you're supposed to theoretically have infinite space, but I am not sure how to get all this infinite space. I think I need to have like something right here. And then, like, yeah, so I get more space just like that. And it's just a really cool feature that came out with all the operating systems. And I just had a little bit of fun right here. There's a sticky note feature, there's a shape feature right here where you could add different shapes. All the same thing, you can add an education hat on top of the hell. You can add a text box, you can even add some images right here. Or you can even add some files, which I think can only be images. Oh so yeah, it looks like I can add any file I want onto this freeform. Unlike with iOS, sharing actually works, so we could collaborate with people, and we can even make a new one if we wanted to, but I'm not going to at this current time. I'm just gonna stick with my test freeform. Personally, I could see people with iPads benefiting this the most because they're actually able to draw. But with the sticky note feature, I think people can start getting ideas, but it's not working for some reason. That's, beta, that's just betas for you, so just letting you know if you want to install macOS Ventura just for freeform, you might not be able to use some of Freeform's features because they're kind of broken, especially just text boxes as well. Just like, you know, right there, if we want to take a look at the build number, it looks like Apple has went through 109 builds while in development of Freeform. I'm not going to be covering any of those. And this app will definitely be very useful inside of school when it does release to everyone. Next feature we have in, is inside the Home app. So if we were to go take a look at our home settings, we could actually go down and if we go to software update, you will notice that we we now have our home upgrades available for the new architecture Apple has. Personally, I'm not going to do this quite yet since I don't want to install a beta on my HomePod or Apple TV, but this is a very great feature inside of the Home app. So if we're going to click on this Learn More and go to Continue, it basically says that our HomePods or Apple TVs need to be updated to version 16.2, but I'm personally not going to do betas at this moment in time on those devices. And it looks like all the HomePods and Apple TVs need to be updated in order for this home architecture to work for some reason. I'm guessing all the devices need also need to be updated, so I'll be on the lookout for that. So personally, it just makes it faster. It's just rewritten from the ground up. Nothing too much here with the rewritten home app, except that it's faster. I did make a Mac Rumors post of Mac OS Ventura, if we were to take a look right here and scroll up. I'm actually going to take a look at the Apple Silicon firmware version right now. So our Apple Silicon firmware version and our T2 Bridger West system firmware both got updated and we have a few remaining issues and I'm not sure about the alarm issue, but we have actually had this issue for a while inside of macOS and I think Apple will need to rewrite the music app or something in order for it to work, unless I were to just report it. But inside of the feedback app, Apple did not give me any word about the alarm issues, so I'm guessing it is not fixed as of right now since they cannot diagnose it at this moment. So if you want to take a look at this and even contribute to it, that will be great. I currently did not finish the build numbers quite yet, so I'll get to work on that in a little bit. Now, so far, there are not many issues. Now, Freeform seems to be a little bit smoother just because we can actually share stuff, whereas on iOS, you can't even share it. Also, it looks like the text is a little bit scrunched up right here. It might be for just the release notes, so hopefully things get fixed inside of macOS Ventura. And let's see if I can even add stuff. Nope, not at this moment in time. Oh yeah, if we were to take a look at our clock build number that has not been updated. It still remains at version 62. So hopefully that gets updated and fixed. That's all I really have to say about macOS Ventura 13.1. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, share it with your friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!